Hello, it's Susan and I have a show and tell flip through for you today. It is not a journal journal, it is built like a journal, but it is more, oh, we're calling it an interactive gift card. A friend of mine wanted to make a special gift for her daughter for a special day and she wanted to be able to put little notes of positive thoughts that she had and advice from mom and that sort of thing in it and, you know, gift cards and what have you. So she basically just wanted a, a small book with lots of pockets and tucks and it was so much fun to work on this so much fun this little charm there in the front and so I did my part and then it's going to go off to her and she's going to do her part the cover is one of my book text journals I'll put a link uh, to the video where I'm showing how I'm doing those but it's just a great way to use up some of those book text pages that we have so many of and I you know, glued those to a base and then I glued sheer fabric all over it and then just went crazy stitching. Make sure that I am in frame. And so because I knew she was gonna fill it with positive quotes and thoughts, I had to do some of that myself. And a little hummingbird charm there. And so I've got little just blank journaling cards and pieces of paper and envelopes for her to be able to continue to fill it with things for her daughter. This little blank thing that she can write a note in. And just something like this was just so much fun. I just had a lot of freedom to do my thing. This is one of my photographs from Hummingbirds. Blanks right on the back of it. This is another one of my hummingbird photographs. And of course, you know me, it's gotta have the threads everywhere, right? I think I did this in one of my lives, maybe, maybe not. And so she can write on the inside there and she can write on the back there. And you forget all the different ways that we can do uh, little tuck spots in books. Hope is a thing with feathers. I love that quote. And this is a great thing for journaling cards. I'm sure the rest of you do it too, is you know to cut off uh, the fronts of cards that have pictures that work for you. And so we've got another journal card here. These are jelly prints that I made a patchwork out of and these are the little looks like an envelope except when you unfold it you can make a note in there. Another hummingbird. Hummingbirds are special to her so and this has a little notebook in it so she can write some thoughts there. Piece of paper she can write a note on there, a little envelope if she wants to tuck something in it, and another hummingbird. And these are playing cards that have been uh, decorated in various ways. They make great sturdy little tuck spots. Just a pocket. This is with some of my painted um, wax paper and tissue papers that I did with the India ink, so another card she can write on there. Little jelly printed envelope with a positive thought in there. And a piece of paper she can write a note in there. And then this flips open and she can write a little note in here. And she can write a note on the back of there. This is from my Dragonfly kit. And some more of these little unfolding ones in that pocket. And another journaling card here. Tea dyed index cards are great to have ready to decorate, they make great pockets. Just a little belly band and um, decoupage napkins. 
and then we'll envelope so you can put something in there. Everyone is kneaded out of the same dough but not baked in the same oven. And another hummingbird. When it's dark enough you can see the stars. Tuck spot here. And another pocket here. Another tuck spot here. It's another piece from a greeting card. Like I said I just I'm forever saving those. I just love being able to reuse them. And another little tuck that flips up. Goes both a tuck and a writing spot. And little envelope she can put something in. Another journal card. It's really interesting to put something together without any pages to write on. It was a different way of thinking about constructing a, a project. Another belly band here. Another tuck spot there. Another one here. And you can write in there little notes in both of these. These again are from my dragonfly days. And that's it. The interactive greeting card. That's all for now, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.